It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Welcome to the Line Makers on Sporting News. I'm Michael Roberts, joined by Hugh Citron, the first guy ever in Las Vegas to post lines on UFC. We're looking at UFC 161 from Winnipeg. Tell us about Evans and a price that you think might be too low right now around Las Vegas books. Yeah, I um, really surprised when I saw what the line came out of this fight. Sugar Rashad Evans fighting Dan Hendo Henderson in a very important light heavyweight contenders fight coming up, you know, in Canada on the 15th of June. Uh, six to five favorite Rashad Evans. I could have seen him anywhere as maybe nine to five, eight to five, somewhere in there. Very surprising Hendo's getting this much respect on the line. Dan Henderson's last fight, and if you follow the line makers, I called it. He had a very hard time with Machida, just too much speed. Thanks, babe. Uh, he lost a split decision, but I didn't even think it was that close. So his speed and the aging maybe of Dan, maybe Dan's coming to the end. He's going to be 43 pretty soon, and at some point, fighters just hit that wall. I mean, you just don't know when it's going to come, but you certainly don't want to be on the guy when it finally happens. I think Dan's kind of really into his last few fights. Mm -hmm. Rashad, kind of not getting as much respect here. He lost his last fight to Ogerio Noguera. That's Little Nog, Minotaro's young brother. And um, he broke his hand after the first round, so the last two rounds he slowed down. He lost a decision. So I think that's kind of weighing into the line being a little light here. Before that, Rashad went the distance, lost to John Jones. Pretty hard to do. Not too many people give John Jones any kind sure. of a opposition. And he did beat a real good light heavyweight in Phil Davis pretty easily before that. So Dan Henderson, I don't know. You know, he still has that bomb in his right hand. He can knock you out, and Rashad can get caught. But I'm going to say Rashad, 33, really in the prime of his career. Dan, 42, almost 43. I hate to keep bringing up the age because yeah. fighters sometimes can come back but I think Dan's maybe on the downside looking towards his end. I'm going to look to lay the 6-5 to five or maybe even pick him if it gets that low closer to fight time, Micah. All right, it looks like there's value with the favorite here, a short favorite by about 40 to 50 cents, according to Hughes' numbers, what it should be. Thanks for watching.